Well, how do that, people? Inside of the view of us, as you can see. Oh, wrong way. I'm in no man's sky. Heck yes, I am. And today, chums, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a video sort of covering off something that I hope comes into the verse and has got a good chance of coming into the verse. I mean, we have seen inside of the game files not so long ago that new stations were rocking up. Space station type Bs. Anyway, what's this video about, people? And how does it tie into these new space stations? Well, if I go into my discoveries page, people, I'm just inside of a system here. And as you can see, there is one ringed planet inside of this system. Okay, uh, and actually, I don't even need to jump systems. Let's just click on one of these just at random. There is one ringed planet in this system. Let's click another one at random. Boom. There is one ringed planet in that system. Let's try another one. Boom. There is one ringed planet in that system. Boom. <laughs> I think you get the idea. And I think I'm becoming quite annoying, so I'm going to stop doing that. Boom. Okay. But you get the idea, people. There is one ringed planet in every single system inside of No Man's Sky. Well, what's the problem there, Captain? What's the problem with having one ringed system in every single system? Um, I mean, our solar system's got Saturn. But yeah, yeah but why? Why just one planet? Why can't there be some systems that have got two planets with rings in? Why can't there be some system that have got no ringed planets in? And then when you do find one, it's a little bit more special. Or what about jumping to a system where every single planet has got rings? Or what about if you come across a planet that's got rings that go that way, but then also have rings that go the opposite way, and they crisscross over or something? That'd be pretty darn snaz, wouldn't it? Just to add a little bit more variety into the old ringed planets. But how does that tie into having the new st space station type Bs? Well, you can see here, this space station is right near to that ringed planet. It's also got a shed load of freaking meteorites here, which could be perfect for mining. Now, I'm thinking, you know, you've got the GEC that are quite sort of into resources and units, and they've got large haulers, or the, their systems seem to spawn haulers and shuttles more so than any other ships. Why not make it so that GEC systems are more likely to have a ringed planet, more likely to have rarer resources inside of sort of like asteroids inside of space, and perhaps their space stations are all more sort of aligned to that sort of mining menta mentality. So they look more like a mining rig. I'm thinking of, you know, the TV show, um, The Expanse, if you've never seen the TV show Expanse. I mean, look, you've got a shed load of more meteorites here right now, which are pretty darn sweet. And has it got any sort of, uh, yeah, it's got some of these spiky asteroids amongst them as well, which do give the higher resources. So it kind of makes sense to me, perhaps. You know, I'm getting platinum right there, people, which you can spin into nanites. You could nanite farm the shite out of this. But if that space station was more like a mining rig, and you know, we've already got the animations of the ships going out and mining these asteroids. What if there was a lot more of that? A lot more busy work, a lot more ships going out, mining these asteroids rather than flying down to the planets? Or all the ships are just going into here, mining them. Perhaps this uh, mining rig sort of space station could be a lot more flatter, with a lot more landing platforms for these NPC ships to come and land in, as well as having our own landing pads for our own ships. But it would look freaking awesome, and it would give a sense of level of immersion that I feel that the game sorely needs. But why the ringed planets? OK, so let's go down to a ringed planet. I'm not going to actually land on the surface. I'm going to fly into the ring of the planet. Now, on Switch, I don't think this actually happens, people. But the ringed planets on next-gen platforms and also on previous-gen platforms like the PlayStation 4 and Xbox, as you fly into the rings of this planet, they're not just a visual sort of thing. They're not just painted on rings. They're actually made of, you've guessed it, asteroids, people. Look at that. There's loads of asteroids here for mining. So the ringed planets means more asteroids, more chances of getting yourself your tritium for your fuel and all that sort of shenanigans. But I'm also thinking if you do visit a system that has lots of rings and is probably gek infested and, and more aligned to doing mining and all that sort of shenanigans, perhaps rather than go and mine the asteroids, 
they're already freaking doing it. So if you go inside of their station, they're more likely to have tritium and all the resources that you can find for less than any other system inside of the Galactic Trade Terminal. So you can just go and buy a load of tritium. You can buy a load of platinum if it was this system because they've Platinum's in the blanking asteroids, people, you know, and I, I think that'll like make a lot more sense to immersion. It would give that sort of rhyme or reason to wanting to find systems that have ringed planets, and you know that you're more likely to find them if you go to a Gex system. I just think that would make a heck of a lot more sense, and I'm hoping that the reason that they overhauled all the sort of meteorites that we see in space and made them a heck of a lot more procedural, because they are, I think that the asteroid belts and the asteroids that we find in systems now are far more exciting than they used to be. I'm hoping that they add that sort of element in. I'd like to hope that, you know, the people inside of No Man's Sky and Hello Games that are making No Man's Sky, I should say, strike that and reverse it, are massive sci-fi fans, just like I am and just like you are, you know? And perhaps they've already watched The Expanse and thought, you know what? we could bring some of this into our actual game. I mean, we see it inside of Starfield. There is actually, a, you know, a mining sort of colony that you can go to. There's also a cyberpunk faction and a Wild Westy type faction. And then pretty much, you know, the, the, the constellation type group in, you know, Atlantis. So I think they've got all bases covered there. I would like to see a little bit more of that covered here. I mean, I know I'm just saying rob bits from the expanse and add in the whole mining thing. I mean, this this game is all about getting resources so why not build that into the actual the actual npcs inside of systems so although that this video is a little bit of a rant video on how it could be improved and why do we have this repeating pattern that breaks immersion where every system has to have a ringed planet i just don't see why it has to it removes it from being special um, but yeah, anyway, this video is more of an ideas video, how they can strengthen the GEC and how they can bring in some of that trade element, because there are four pillars to this game. I mean, look, look, we've got a mining vessel right there right now. Oh, what a cool example of what I was just on about. Let's let's follow him for a bit. OK, so let's see him, let's see him mine another one. I wonder if this is a GEC system, because that's actually a shuttle as well, isn't it? Well, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna watch this little chap go about his day to day. But imagine a whole fleet of these doing this right now, peeps. And imagine how cool that would be. I mean, see how excited I got so fly, seeing him flying around in this system, doing what his day to day is. You know, having NPCs doing day to day tasks and day to day jobs adds to that level of immersion. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, that's freaking awesome that that's happening right now. I mean, this is this is a Corvax system. I mean, yes, the Viking and the Corvax could do this, but I'm just thinking the Gex systems could be far more busier and it sort of ties into their background a bit more. I mean, I'd expect Corvax to do a lot more scanning of these rocks for scientific purposes rather, rather than mining them for unit gain, you know what I mean? So there's that sort of stuff. So it's just an ideas video on how they could add mining as more of a thing and more of a role, give a lot of the NPCs backgrounds and jobs. I mean, this one has been focused mainly on the GEC. Maybe I'll do a couple more videos, ones where I feel that they can strengthen the game and also add in immersion for the different races, like that of the Viking and like that of the Corvax. Yeah, I might make two more videos like this one, people add in things that the Cor the Corvax could be doing, and the Viking. Anyway, hope you like this video. It's just a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. Heck yes, this is my own brew of my own tea inside of this mug, people. The last of it. I've just ordered some more. When it turns up, I do a video because it's going to have my label on and everything, my whole branding now. It's all there. Yes, I put a link inside this video description too, where you can get your own cup of tea brew the same brew as what i've got right here the same brand this is my own special brand read up the website link that's inside the video description and uh, see if it appeals to you anyway that's enough of the shameless plug-in i better get going heck yes i need to finish that tea because it's the last of my special brew heck yes it is and yeah i've got some more on order freaking awesome anyway people salute monday thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please smash a like and perhaps share it on social media if we can get this to sort of trend if we can get this welled up in views and then if i fire it over to the zen desk hopefully it's going to have a lot more clout you know if, if hello games are to consider it oh look there's another mining ship and that's not a shuttle that one's a fighter and it's going out and doing its thing let's move it a bit bigger on the screen there you go yeah look he's doing some mining now but how cool would it be to have a whole flotilla 
of these mining vessels, maybe even like a, a freighter that flies in or something. But then if they have got a station that's more like some sort of mining rig, I think this would be far more believable. It really would. Anyways, peeps, I'm, I'm sort of repeating myself now, but I just thought that was just nice to see a fighter doing some mining there. Just a little box fighter at that. Anyway, people, take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.